Well, hey, it has been a minute. I really wish that I could be like super like, hey, oh my God, hey, but I'm so like, I don't feel good. Like not COVID don't feel good, just don't feel good. Like I went to Costco because we are out of so many things and all my chins. Um, and I grabbed some stuff and like halfway through, like I just got like this weird nasal sinus pain thing. And like I got really tired despite having had half of this. So I'm gonna go home, probably gonna play with the cricket. I have been making a lot of things. I open an Etsy shop, I of course will link that. Uh, I'll put it on the community page as well as um, the, like the, the down there, you know what I mean? The things that I'm talking about. Description video, oh my God. I've like forgotten how to YouTube. Hand to God, I have forgotten how to YouTube. I have not picked this camera up in almost a month. It's been since we got back from New Jersey, which, well, no, no. It was before I went to New Jersey. It was after California, before Jersey. So we've been back two or three weeks. So it's, it's been a minute since I've, I've vlogged. But uh, I figured I would get on here and let you guys know what my plan is. Because I gotta do something because, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> Do you see the fat? Do you see it? And I've been like, all these old pictures of me have been popping up on my Facebook. And I'm just like, I was like, even when I thought I was fat and I wasn't like, I, I was, I was overweight, but like, oh my God, my face was so much thinner. Like I was 250, but I looked, you know, <laughs> so, um, my plan was to start back on Weight Watchers. Um, because I do really like the new Weight Watchers personal points plan. I enjoy it. I think it's great to be able to customize what your zero point foods are. Oh my God, I am on a circle with people who know how to work a circle. Holy shit. Oh my God, that was the smoothest circle I've ever driven in Alabama. And you guys got it recorded. I was gonna say on tape, but that's not how this works. Oh my God, that was like smooth as butter. So, the plan was, was Weight Watchers. Um, <coughs> that, that has been the plan all along. I like the, the personal points. I like that I can have zero point avocado, all that fun stuff. But, but I'm not feeling it. I'm just not feeling it. When I did Weight Watchers in the beginning, like I really wanted more fruit, more veggies, I wanted to be able to eat potatoes and eat bread. And I've been eating way more bread than I should. Um, you know, sandwiches here, sandwiches there, rolls, croissants, you name it. If it's bread, I'm putting it in my mouth. We've been doing a lot of pasta, all that stuff. And it's not, it's not great. So I'm talking, I gotta turn that off. Talking to Erin last night and you know, I was like, I really like, I need to do something. And I was on the keto village, Christy. I was on like her Instagram and I was like scrolling through, you know, doing whatever, checking up on my friends. Cause that's what I'll do. And, uh, I was like, you know what? Like I do, I do kind of miss it. Like I remember being on it and losing weight quickly because it is water weight. You know, I get that, but being happy and satisfied and not feeling deprived. And I didn't feel deprived on Weight Watchers, but it was a, a different feeling, if you will. Um, so I decided, oh my God, I'm so heavy, that I am going to go back to keto for a little while. Now, I don't, I don't think keto is sustainable for me long term. Um, like I can't see myself being 65 years old and being like, I'm on the ketogenic diet. It could be, but I don't know. I doubt it because we both know I'm going to go back to eating crap food once I, you know, reach a certain amount of weight or, you know, I stub my toe. But, um, for right now, I think keto is what is best for me, which is why my channel name is Aaron does the things because I change my mind. Like people change their drawers. So yeah, I'm very excited. Um, I went to Costco and I got some keto staples. 
I got some pre-sliced mozzarella cheese, pepperoni. I want to get some fresh basil and some tomatoes because I'm going to do like a little, like, not bruschetta. Well, I mean, maybe, no, no, not bruschetta. What is the word that I am thinking about? What is it called? Where it's like tomato, mozzarella, basil, tomato, mozzarella, basil. What is that called? Oh my God. I don't know, but that's my goal. I want to do a little bit of that. Um, I got, I didn't go crazy. Like I didn't get keto branded food. Um, now don't get me wrong. Since I have done keto, it has become so much more available. Like there were all kinds of keto things going on in Costco. Keto nut clusters, keto chocolate bars, you name it, it was there, but I wasn't, I wasn't feeling it. I, I just wasn't feeling it. Um, so I just got some staples. I, uh, I need to get some parts of palm noodles because I really do enjoy those. I think those are my favorite noodle substitutes. So I want to get a couple of those. Um, and like, you know, of course I am going to get some keto stuff. Like I want to try the big moo cheese that Christy has on her page. I just don't know if I can stomach spending what they want for it. Like I think three bricks is like 40 bucks or something. It's a ridiculous amount of money. Um, oh, I did get, I told you I got pepperoni. I got heavy whipping cream for my coffee, which is going to be fantastic since I can use that to make cold foam. And I've been very into cold foam lately. Um, I kind of use like when I'm on keto, I kind of almost have like a desserty breakfast coffee and I love it. It kind of like sets my mood for the day, which is nice. And you guys know, actually you might not know, um, to help with my mental health, I have been one on Lexapro, which is a godsend, but I have been waking up early for probably the last three ish weeks and reading and having coffee before I go to work. Sometimes I'll do the dishes and then read, even if it's only 15, 20 minutes, I am getting some me time in before work and I'm not just waking up and immediately going to work. Um, that and our phone system has changed where we now have a, sorry, that sounded like a rock in my windshield. We now have a second, second delay between our calls, like between when the first one ends, then we hear like a beep and then there's seven seconds. And then I wait three seconds before I introduce myself to kind of let everything connect. And those 10 seconds have been heaven on earth. So between waking up early and becoming a human before going to work, then going from back to back to back calls to having 10 solid seconds in between each call and the Lexapro. Even Dave is like, you're very different. He's like, you're not as moody, you're not as miserable. And I'm like, and it's these three things that contribute to that. Um, why did I start telling you that? I don't know, it had to do with the coffee. So, <laughs> um, you know, I just wake up and I make my coffee and I enjoy that while I, while I you know, read and get ready to become a person and it has helped a lot with my mental health now of course I have been a little bit down in the dumps you know it's been four weeks since my stepdad passed um and you know it's it, it has not been anywhere near as tough for me as I'm sure it has been obviously for my mom but even just for my sister and my nephew, you know, he was the father figure for my nephew and it's just destroyed him. And, you know, Megan, he's lived with Megan for almost two years, three, two. I think they moved in in 2020. I don't remember, but, um, you know, they, they lived there for long enough that my sister's like, I miss his little shuffle. Like, cause you know, he just, he just shuffled when he walked and. You know, I've been finding all these old pictures of him and I'll put a couple in if I can remember. At least one, I have my mom and his wedding picture. Excuse my hair in that picture. I don't know what was going on with it. And I'm definitely wearing like a long denim skirt in the picture, but it is what it is. But like to see what he was 
19 years ago to what he was when he passed. He was just so sick. And it's as hard as it is to say like he's in a better place and he's not in pain anymore. It still sucks because he was just the best. He was just the best. Um, and I do miss him. And I'm kind of so pissed. Kind of so pissed. I'm so pissed that he, I called him on his birthday, which also happens to be their anniversary and Dave's birthday. And uh, I wished him a happy birthday. And like, as soon as I hung up with him, he called me back. Like, I, I guess I put my phone down and I left. And uh, he had left me a voicemail that was like, oh, hey, tell Dave I said happy birthday. All right, love you both. And I deleted it like two weeks before he died. So just do me a favor. If you still have your parents and they leave you a voicemail, don't delete it because it sucks but we do have um the little clip from them wishing us well uh that's saying how much they love us in the the video from the wedding um if I can manage to find that on my phone I will put that in as well but uh now that I made myself cry back to the real reason I was making this video which was I'm back on keto starting tomorrow I decided to get some staples um I cannot go to the store again today. Like, it's just, I just don't have it in me. I literally just want to go home and read and craft today. And that is what I'm going to do. So, um, Monday I'm going to have to go to the store, try to find cream cheese, even though there's a national cream cheese shortage, because I wasn't buying the Costco brand. Um, it's too carby. It's like two carbs per ounce. I'm not playing that game. Um, but I want to make little pepperoni and cream cheese, little, you know, because they're delicious. Uh... And they only had organic Parmesan cheese at Costco, and we don't play that game. Craft Parmesan. I need all the wood shavings, please. But, so I have to get a couple more things. Um, ooh, and I bought Pyrex, like, snap wear stuff, because all my plastic stuff is either gone, missing lids, or just stained beyond belief. So we've been tossing it out as it's being pulled out of the fridge, but... I think I may vlog tomorrow, like vlog, vlog, show you what I eat. I do have to work. I think I'm 6.30 to 3.30, which would be nice for a Sunday. But I will uh, talk to you guys tomorrow. Please don't hate me for switching to keto. I know you guys are going to say do what you need to do, which is good. But I'm going to reach out to, I think, some companies, see if they want me to review anything and try and really, like, revive my channel because it's been so stagnant. So, yeah. I'm going to drive home and listen to Welcome to Our Show podcast where the stars of New Girl go over each and every episode and uh, go home and relax. I'll see you guys tomorrow.